Hello, and welcome to episode 92 of Things I've Learned from Bear Harris. And today I thought we would discuss um, how beautiful Barry's minor six diminished scale is and the importance of knowing it and the application of some of the spots. So let's take, let's say, autumn leaves in the key of B flat. And we'll use it in this little specific spot. So we have C minor going to F7, going to B flat major, going to E flat major. Then we have A half diminished, going to D7, going to G minor. So that's the little spot where we'll use a few different applications of the minor six. So for instance, the A minor, well, let's start on the G minor. So obviously on the G minor, we can use G minor six diminished scale. What makes this scale beautiful is that it's got a flat six in it and a major six in it, plus the major seven. So it's kind of like a combination of the melodic minor and the harmonic minor. So it's both of those things. So that's why I always say that it's greater than the harmonic minor or the melodic minor, because both of those are found in this scale. So the idea is it's a root, and we'll do it in G. It's the root, major second, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat sixth, major six, major seven. It's a really pretty scale. So that's a nice spot to put it. Now, what the other thing I wanted to combine this with, besides how beautiful that scale is, is sometimes if you hear like a beautiful Art Tatum run or a beautiful Bud Powell run or a Barry run, where they just do something, let's say four octaves or something like that, or whatever. A lot of times if you transcribe it, it's the same couple of notes, but they're just doing such a run across the piano that it's just the same couple of notes across the whole piano a couple of octaves or many octaves. So guitar players can do that too. I mean, saxophone players can do that, but guitar players can do that. And I don't know if we necessarily practice it enough and we probably should, but let's take a look at, let's say this G minor six. The idea is, well, we could just take the four notes of the G minor six, which is the root, flat third, fifth, six. So that's a really nice run. Or we can take, let's say, if we just grab any one of those notes. So this one was root third, five, six. What if we did uh, one, two, three, five? That's a really pretty one. Three octaves. What if we did um, major seven, one, three five that's a pretty one what if we did um oh the second major seven root fifth that's a nice one if i could get it right really pretty run uh, suppose we did, so you see it's any of these, suppose we did three, two, one. Oh, I know, let's make it a five note run. So that's a pretty thing because it's kind of like falls on the beat different every time you go. So you got three, two, one, flat six, five. Three octave thing, really pretty. Okay, so that's for G minor. Now that's one of the spots to use it. On A half diminished, we can use it for a C minor because as Barry people, we know that um, A half diminished, A minor seven plus five, is really a C minor six with the six in the bass, C minor with the six in the bass. So we know that it comes from the C minor six diminished scale. So there's another spot where we can use it. So when it gets to A half diminished, we can do all the same things we did here for G minor. We could do it for C minor which is really pretty. So let's say if we got up to that point in the song, we get this B flat, E flat. Now here's the A half diminished. It's a pretty part of the song right there where we just did a, a octave, three octave run of the same exact couple of notes. So these are really nice things that you can work out beforehand so that when you're soloing, 
when time comes to play these things, you have them totally worked out. And they're really interesting mm. things, and you can come up with a million variations of them that other people haven't come up with because it's just a series of notes, where, whether it be three, whether it be, I like sometimes just two. That's pretty root fifth. So when we get to the G minor, or if we get to the A half diminished, you do the same thing for C. That's a nice one. So let's do that. So there's B flat, E flat, A half diminished. Nice idea, just doing the same thing three octaves. Really beautiful. Um, I like doing those twice. So hit each note twice. That's a nice one, so. I mean, these are really great to use. Now, the third place where you can use it is on a D7 or any dominant chord, Barry likes to use the minor six diminished, which is a half step above the dominant, which gives you like E flat minor six then over D7. What it does is it gives you what some people call like the alt, the alt scale sound or the melodic minor, but this has both the flat six and the major six and the major seven in it. So it has a really beautiful sound to it. Mm -hmm. And it comes from really Barry's theory. It says the D7's tritone is A flat and the tritone's minor is E flat minor six. Or if you want to go even further that it's, they all share the same diminished anyway. D7, A flat seven, E flat minor six, uh, A minor six, all shares the same diminished anyway. So anyway, you want to look at it, the E flat minor six works nicely, but that's a perfect example. What we did for G minor, mm -hmm or for C minor. You can also do for E flat minor. Uh, all this stuff. So you see, not only are you working out lines for one particular thing, you have to learn how to apply it in many places so that, let's say, okay, I spent an hour practicing this G minor six run or this minor six run, whatever key it's in. Well, you should know, look at all these little places you could use it in application. This way, for the amount of time you're practicing, the results that you can get are great. Because look at all these little places that you put in. Now, the question is how you resolve it after that is, is another thing. But let's say we did this one. And then we did it for C minor. So, well, let's do it twice. And then for the D7, is that pretty? On a D7, listen to how pretty that is. So who would ever think to play this? And all we're thinking about is, well, the D7 is, we're thinking E flat minor six, which is the half step above D7. And we're just grabbing a couple of notes from there. We could have played a fuller thing. We could have played a... That's pretty too, or also pretty, or any any of these. Uh, those are really all. Those are so nice, and then and then you know you have to resolve then to um, to G to G minor. So all these are so beautiful. It's just something to keep in mind. Sometimes practicing can be overwhelming, and we all don't have a lot of time to practice, or most of us don't. So the time that we use, we want to be efficient with it. But just so you know that if you practice your minor six diminished scale, just look in that little spot, how many little applications, how many little spots you can put it in and how beautiful they're all going to sound. And obviously you're not going to do it in all of them, but you know, to pull a run like, so when A half diminished comes, we all have our minor two, five things worked out, but maybe you never thought to do that. I mean that's such a that's such a nice idea of just doing something three octaves. 
I mean, I, n I never really thought to do it except for when you hear like these beautiful runs. And what, what I also like about it is, for instance, you don't have to necessarily, you know, these runs are beautiful even if you, if you have average technique, like I consider myself have average technique. You know, like you might hear like um, for guitar, you'll hear Pasquale. Pasquale Grasso will play like all these wonderful lines, but his technique is so unbelievable and he pulls it off so clean that it sounds remarkable. But the idea, the rest of us who have just normal person technique, not Pasquale technique, but normal, like normal human being technique, we can actually pull those runs off too. It's not gonna be as fast, it's not gonna be as technically brilliant, but the sound is still gonna be wonderful. That's what I like about these, um, these ideas, especially with the minor six. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, and um, until next time, enjoy practicing your minor six diminished runs. Thanks.